Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle and see what I just received. Why did I receive it? Well, there is an event currently happening. I'm not sure if you have heard about it before. It's called Puzzle Advent Calendar. It's a collaboration of 17 YouTubers and 15 puzzle creators. And these 15 puzzle creators create exactly 24 puzzles. So from the 1st of December to the 24th, you will see every day a puzzle that is part of this puzzle advent calendar released on a different YouTube channel. Some of them do two videos. I for myself do only one and they are all collected in one single playlist. So I will link you the playlist in the video description so you can just check it out if you are interested to see more of these puzzle advent calendar videos. This puzzle here was sent to me by ND Puzzles or to be more precise by Dario of ND Puzzles who also sent me last year this uh, Code of Christmas puzzle box, if you remember. And the, the year before, he sent me this incredibly nice um, Rubik's Cube-like puzzle box. I will also put your link to both of them in the video description. And if you would like to see more of ND Puzzles, you can also, of course, check out their YouTube channel. Also, I will link them up here that you can directly jump over. And if you like what you see, of course, subscribe. But enough of that. This is what I received from Dario and I had no idea what will arrive. Now it's arrived and I have still no idea what this thing is about. It looks kind of weird to me. It seems to be some kind of a puzzle box, but um, I'm not sure what it's about. So I would propose we just get it out here of the packaging and check it out. This time Dario made a wooden puzzle box or a combination of wooden and 3D printed parts. This is or seems to be the wooden puzzle box. And <laughs> same as last year, you can hear there is a lot of things going on in here. This seems to be Santa's sleigh. Okay, so to be honest, I thought this guy would be bigger, but uh, well, you never know until you know. <laughs> and it comes also with this letter here. Oh, okay, some blackmail letter. Oh man, this is kind of difficult to read, but I will try my best to do so. So, let's see what's written here. Dear Santa, I wish you a Merry Christmas, not. Ten years ago I asked you for one thing, and one thing only. I wanted to get a challenging puzzle. Well, who, who does not, yeah. Get what I got, a jigsaw puzzle. That piece of junk was boring and didn't even occupy me for a full evening. That day, you didn't only disappoint a young boy, you made yourself an enemy. <laughs> okay. I tried to reach you using smoke signals that I blew up my chimney, but you never replied. Now I found a way to get your attention. Last night, I got to your sly and stole all of your presents. I think you got the attention of many more people now. So hopefully I'm gonna fix this today. I'll not be cruel though. I put them in a puzzle box. So if you can figure out how to open it, I'll give you a second chance to prove yourself worthy of delivering toys to kids each year. Peter. Who is Peter? P.S. By the way, this year I put a 10 by 10 twisty puzzle on my wish list. I'm looking forward to that if you succeed. A lot of responsibility here coming with this puzzle, obviously. But does this letter help me to solve it? I don't know, but I propose we're gonna find out after the spoiler break. What I hear inside here are probably all these presents that have been visible here on the picture which makes it incredibly difficult for me to hear what's going on inside here. And the sleigh, I was told it's not really required um, to solve the puzzle. It's more like a gadget, something you can use to present the puzzle when it's solved. So I guess something like, like this here, okay? Santa sleigh, let's just have a look. Obviously the puzzle's opening in this direction. I would, if it would be made from metal or with more precision, I probably would guess that there might be a second compartment or something that could be opened. But I think in this case, this is re it's really opening over here. <laughs> Can I maybe twist it somehow? There's 
so much things going on inside here that it's really, really difficult for me. To understand what I should do or what I should look for. Or maybe a specific position, angle. Here we go, here we go, gotcha. <laughs> okay, how does it work? Let me see. Oh, okay, oh, this is clever. There is a screw inside here, which can go from left to right. And this screw must match with this cutout here in the plastic piece. It's difficult to find, actually. Maybe I was a little bit lucky because the screw need to be al exactly aligned with this cutout. Or off Santa. Oh. Okay, so this is basically a letter congratulating on solving the puzzle. One out of five. I think this is right. Maybe a two out of five from my point of view. Okay, and then it's describing that Santa is gonna be punished if these four conditions here won't be fulfilled. Actually, I thought that this puzzle is already solved when opening it, but there is another task to fulfill and it's described here so santa will be punished if these four conditions here are not fulfilled and these four conditions are if any present was opened the present leave the track radius 10 meter to the slide two packages of the same color are in the same line row on either side of a 4x4 stack on your slide or if he's bored okay and this number three here is the second puzzle inside of the puzzle i need to stack these things in a way that on both sides front and rear side i will i need to stack them here on top of the sleigh but i think you will not be able to see it therefore i need to do it maybe in laying condition let me maybe sort the pieces after color Ooh, this does not look easy let me maybe start with these so we have an orange one, a green one, a, a blue one <laughs> here and the orange one on the bottom side on the other side. Green orange. And we need a red one. And now I'm already coming to the limit because I have no green. Ah, I can put a green one of these in here maybe. Maybe let's try it like this. Would this be possible? No, it would not. Okay, so one of these orange or two of these orange pieces need to be in the same line. Gold, orange, green, and blue. This one and this one. Does this work? Let's see. So not the same color in this row, in this row, in this row. And in this row. What about here? No. 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 Okay. So this side looks correct. Let me look on the lower side. Hmm. Let's do it like this. Safest way. Single color, single color, single color, single colors. And the same here. So I think it's solved. And this was actually much more tricky then the, the puzzle box itself. So while the puzzle box was definitely a level one or two, it was easily to open. It was also opening randomly, let's say. 
Um, this one is a little bit more tricky and they went a little bit more thinking inside of this one. So this one I think is a 3 out of a maximum of 5 on a personal difficulty rating scale. If you liked today's episode and these two puzzles or this puzzle that contain two puzzles in one puzzle, <laughs> just let me know in the video description. Let know Dario of course what you think about this puzzle. And of course check out his episode of the Puzzle Advent Calendar 2019 tomorrow. Link to his channel in the video description, link to the playlist of the Puzzle Advent Calendar in the video description. Hit the subscribe button, join me on Facebook and Instagram and until next time, keep on puzzling!